Hi guys, this is Swimming Spider 4 here, and today I'm reviewing the Nerf Rival Nemesis. So this is an extremely good gun that features the Nerf Rival balls because and they are extremely accurate. And yeah, so let's start with the external overview. At front, you've got a um, front sight which corresponds with the back one. The nozzle is what you would what you would expect from a rival gun and these this strange like bump here which is on the other side too that's where the flywheels are because this is a battery powered nerf gun back to the hopper this is a detachable hopper and if you want to remove it you can pivot the rear iron sight back and take it out and putting it back in it's just like that just as easy so now we have a locking switch if it's on the lower position that means it's locked and f locked and you I won't I won't rev or shoot if it's above I can rev and shoot this nerf gun needs six D alkaline batteries to run you just as you saw you unscrew the um, bolt that holds the, the tray inside the stock and what I really love about this bolt is that as much as you shake it, the screw will not come out. Which is a really good addition if you don't want to keep screwing it in and taking it out once the batteries are dead. So after you've got all 6D batteries installed, you put that back in and you just slip the hop on there. So yeah, now onto the firing test. Okay, so I'm going to be testing with the Nerf recharge Rival Rechargeable Battery. This is compatible with the Nemesis and the Chaos and the Hera, but I use it in my Nemesis. So yeah, I'm just going to slide it in, put the battery tray over, and time to pew pew. and it has a hundred round capacity. firing demo completed okay now now that you've shot shot out all this foam it's gonna be quite of a burden to reload with a standard mag this hopper loaded ho this hopper you can just place a ball in and that's it and you don't have to do one you can put place a whole handful in if you're doing a nerf run you're in the move you you can just open the hopper but if you're at home like me reloading after you've just played and spewed 10 tons of foam out you can pivot the rear iron sight back take the hopper out and then put your nemesis to the side and open your hopper and you can just easily reload so this is about eight rounds in my hand reloaded it's much faster than reloading a magazine and i am not talking about actually switching a mag like you do on a rapid strike you just take it out get another on your side or on the bed next to you and put it in that's not reloading reloading is when you're taking the time to put all those nerf darts inside an 18 round rapid strike stick mag but sometimes they do fall out like that and that's fine but also something that I forgot to mention, you fire off 100 rounds in less than 30 seconds. You're going to need so much ammo to run the Nemesis, so it's going to probably get expensive. There are other brands of ammo that work in any um, rival gun, and that's called headshot ammo. There's also cornucopia, but headshot is um, mostly recommended by other people that nerf professionally and me because it's cheaper and it's about the same quality as actual rival balls so yeah now on to the conclusion so the nemesis is a monstrous gun with a hundred grand capacity this is going to change hvz dramatically a lot of people are going to run this in nerf wars 
but the only real like withdraw about it is that it's extremely loud yeah any flywheel gun is loud so that's the only really reason i wouldn't like it but again you get extremely good rate of fire and literally just spew a hundred rounds of foam in less than 30 seconds which makes it probably the best nerf gun on the market in 2017 but now it's 2018 and i've seen a few speculation videos of the prometheus and the hades and i think the prometheus might be better but it all depends about your play style because if you want to have a nerf gun that you can shoot aim instead of carrying on your side like this yeah this is holding it like this is a lot more practical a lot easier to aim and with the prometheus you don't have the iron sights so yeah it's all about your opinion but i don't know when the prometheus um comes out i'm gonna see if the which one's better basically and i might give you a review on that one okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all guys later